Champions was a British story about a man and his horse. Turtle Diary is about a man, a woman, and sea turtles. The story is based on a book which was adapted into a screenplay by the legendary Harold Pinter. The film follows two eccentrics played by Glenda Jackson and Ben Kingsley, who had won an Oscar for Gandhi just four years earlier. William Snow works in a bookshop, and Niera Duncan is a children's author. They're both middle-aged people feeling trapped in their little lives, and they both share a fascination for the large sea turtles that are kept in a London zoo. After speaking with the turtle's keeper, they both realize that the turtles don't belong in the zoo. Thus begins a plan between these three people to take the turtles out of the zoo, bring them to the ocean, and set them free. As much as it sounds like I just described another version of Free Willy, Turtle Diary is much different. It's a very sweet character drama. There's very little tension around getting the turtles out of the zoo, and it's established that most people won't care if the turtles go missing. The focus is on what it means to the people involved. For William and Niera, releasing the turtles means releasing themselves in a sort of way. William is a timid man who has to deal with very strange flatmates, and Niera is suffering from writer's block. The decision to free the turtles takes quite a while for them to make, but when they do, it reinvigorates them. In William's case, he's awoken to the charms of his co-worker. She's been hoping for William to show an interest in her, and some of the movie's best scenes involve their courtship. Ben Kingsley and Harriet Walker almost transcend acting and convince us completely that this is how real people talk to each other when they're tiptoeing around ideas of attraction even as they lean forward closer and closer to each other. Meanwhile, Glenda Jackson portrays Niera as a hesitant and emotional woman who almost seems embarrassed to be called out for her success as an author. It's a reminder to her that she has standards to live up to, and she feels unable to write anything interesting anymore. Working with William to free the turtles gives her new motivation and positivity about herself and her life. Aside from the three actors I already mentioned, the film also features Michael Gambon, Jeroen Krabbe, Nigel Hawthorne, and even a young Peter Capaldi. I can safely say that Turtle Diary is the best John Irvin film that I've reviewed so far. It makes us care about its characters, it gives us a great story with a unique premise, and it's thoroughly enjoyable to sit through. Besides being about people and their relationships with animals, there's another reason I've lumped Champions and Turtle Diary together whenever I've discussed them. They were the first films produced by United British Artists, who were part of a movement in the 1980s to keep the British film industry alive. The creation of Channel 4 allowed for more small-budget, character-focused films to be made. It allowed for a whole new wave of talent to emerge, introducing the world to people like Ridley Scott, Daniel Day-Lewis, Adrian Lyne, and Gary Oldman. John Irvin was part of this wave as well, but for his next films, he would again return to Hollywood, with mixed success. But we'll look at those films later on.